Today, we're going to talk about chickpeas. We've been experimenting with our cooking, and we have tried chickpea flour, and we've been making hummus in the Instant Pot. So today, I'm going to put some chickpeas in the Vitamix, grind it up, and make some flour. And we are going to also compare chickpeas versus canned chickpeas, dried ones versus canned. And so I put one pound of dried chickpeas in the Instant Pot, and we're going to compare how many you get versus how many you'd get in a can, and a cost comparison of that to see if it's better to just buy a can of it, or if it's better to just make your own from dried ones. Um, we make hummus a lot. We have videos on that. Traveling, exploring, and learning on the road. Bum and spam the road trip. Now I am going to put some chickpeas in the Vitamix and grind them up into flour. Um, if you've never used a Vitamix to make flour, it's super easy. Just put in a little bit at a time. If you put too much in, it can overheat. And then just grind them up. I'm going to put it in here. We just went to the store since we're getting ready for our trip to Alaska and we bought out all of them. So we have 16 bags of chickpeas here. So we have a whole bunch. Some of them we will use for hummus. Some of them we will use just to eat plain. The kids also like chickpeas toasted. Um, to make those, we put them in the instant pot so that they're regular chickpeas, not dried garbanzo beans. And then season them if you want and bake them in the oven until they're crispy and the kids love them. So we'll see how these cookies turn out and get a bunch of flour. We'll be able to take that with us on our trip to Alaska instead of having wheat flour so that the kids have more options and the healthier options and some protein. So let's get started. Colin's out here helping me grind it up. So we just did one bag of chickpeas and how many cups of flour did we get? Um, I don't know yet. Just about three. Three cups of flour. So it's all nicely ground. We did it one third at a time. So we did one cup of flour at a time. And so one bag at the store. We buy the, just the cheapest ones we get. These are Kroger brand. Some of the others were great value brands, so depending on what store we go to. Uh, they cost just under $1.50 a bag, and we get three cups of flour out of one bag. So It's worth it. Is it? So $1.50 for three cups of flour. Uh, you could certainly get wheat flour for much cheaper, but if you compare it to prices of alternative flours, it's probably a pretty good price. All right, Google's going to help us out here. We just did a search for chickpea flour, and this is what we found. Um, these bags of Bob's Red Mill are one pound, so it would be equivalent to how much we just made. So you'd get three cups, $2.79, two thirty-nine. Uh, those are some different types of flour, three ninety-nine in bulk. Um, I'd say don't buy it at Walmart, twenty-eight oh seven. That's crazy. Um, so about two fifty a bag where we paid just under a dollar fifty a bag. So if you have no way to grind it, that'd be a great option. But if you have a Vitamix, it works wonderfully to grind it up. Now that our cookie dough is all mixed up, we have two tasters. We used a basic chocolate chip cookie dough recipe without the chocolate chips because we didn't have any. The only difference is one has chickpea flour and one has wheat flour. So we're going to let our tasters give them a try and see. This is really good. Kind of has a dim taste of a little taste of garbanzo beans. beans. But it's sweet, and then you taste a little bit of garbanzo beans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have tried it, and I think it's kind of gross. One it review that we read online said that you can make cookies out of it. You won't be able to tell the difference. Just don't eat the dough. Because with the dough, you can definitely 
tell. Tell the difference. All right, try flour and see what you think. It is sweet. It's way thicker. It is. If you look at the two bowls, mm -hmm. that one is regular cookie dough. It and is this true. one is the chickpea. And this, you can see it's like starting to slide down. Um, the flour, the wheat flour, seemed to kind of absorb all the moisture, where this one is more like peanut butter, kind of chunky peanut butter texture. I probably could have ground the chickpeas a bit longer, but I always get impatient and don't do them long enough. So which one tastes better? I think the chickpea. You like that one? So one vote for each. So who knows? You'll have to try it and see what you think, I guess. Let's bake them up and see what we think. Yeah. Cookie batch number one is done. Check this out. <laughs> I don't think that's at all comparable. Let's do a taste test. <laughs> so we're just going to have to pick up the huge cookie. That is a huge cookie. Oh my, these are soft. Not you can see thick. the dough inside. Can you? Are they not even cooked all the way? Oh, they are pretty doughy. They could have stayed in a bit longer. Like chocolate chip cookies without chocolate chips. That's a perfect flavor since that's exactly really what they are. All right, let's see what we can do with this one. <laughs> um, I wasn't about to leave them in longer to let those cook because these were clearly done. Way different. Good. Which one tastes better? I think mm. the chickpea. It has way more flavors. It does kind of give it like a nutty sort of flavor, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a flower. A, I like a granola bar that's thicker, where the cookies are more soft and cake-like. So that's what I like about the chickpea ones. So since it didn't really turn out well, and the dough looks very moist, I went ahead and added some flour to another batch, and it's going in the oven. Those ones will be done in just a minute, and we can pull them out and see if that helped, adding a little bit extra chickpea flour to it. When you eat the garbanzo bean one, does it taste like eating garbanzo beans or like hummus or anything? No. It tastes well, like eating a chocolate chip cookie, and then all of a sudden it turns to peanuts. Yeah, it's would, more of a nutty flavor than a bean flavor. I would say after you eat it, and you have a little tingling, in your mouth that tastes like garbanzo beans. If I were to just try one not knowing what was in it, I would never guess that it has garbanzo beans in it. It does not have the flavor at all. The dough definitely does. But once they're baked, all the garbanzo bean flavor is gone. And I think they're delicious. I think my vote would actually be for the garbanzo bean ones. I like them better than the light fluffy cookies although there's not much you can do with this because you kind of have to like bust it off the pan so the recipe would definitely have to be tweaked a bit and then it just kind of crumbles and mushes but I think if we worked on that recipe we could make some really good garbanzo bean cookies I bet there's a million recipes online we didn't even bother looking we just wanted to try it out and see what happened so I'll go pull those other ones out of the oven and let's see how they taste. All right, batch two have come out of the oven. They are flat yet again. They look a bit more cooked. The regular flour ones look like they're cooked all the way through this time. And Emmett's now up from his nap, so he is anxious to try them with us. So these ones are crispier. Let's give them a try. Mommy, one for me. Me. How are those? Still just like chocolate chip cookies? They're way better. Better? Yeah, the others taste like honey. Oh, these are honey. not going to come off the pan in one piece. Mm -mm. They are crispy, crispy. Um, using a little RV oven 
it's kind of hard to heat it up um, and get it to the right temperature. So I think it is warmer now, and so that is making a Wait. difference. Two of the stuff in your mouth. Where the first batch, maybe it wasn't quite as warm. I think this time these ones are better. Those taste like burntness. But I'll st still eat those. Um, the chickpea ones are pretty nasty, overcooked. Mm -hmm. I like the chickpeas more. And now that they're burnt, I can taste that garbanzo bean flavor in them. Me too, Lana. Which ones do you like, Em? Um, first or second. Do you like this one or this one? Mm, you like yeah, that I, one better? I'm the only one who likes the burnt garbanzo bean. All right, I'm gonna put in one more batch at a higher temperature for a shorter amount of time, and we'll see what happens there. Garbanzo cookies, take Let three. Me. These ones we put in the oven on 450 degrees, so we did them hotter. They're able to come off of the pan. They're crispy around the outside, still a little doughy on the inside, but they actually resemble a cookie this time, and we were able to get them off the pan. So let's give those a taste. No, one for me. One for you. It's crumbling. They taste like regular cookies. Best out of all the batches so far. All right, what do we have in the pot? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. All right, so we looked online because we don't have a can of them, and it said that a can holds about a cup and a half. And you can see on here, this is the cup side. It's probably, I'd say, about five cups worth in the Instant Pot um, after we've cooked them. So that was a one-pound bag put in the Instant Pot with a bunch of water for about 40 minutes under pressure. Give one a try. Warm. Mm. Good. Really, Super really good. good. Yep, they're not crunchy at all, no. right? Nice no. and soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it takes 40 minutes in the Instant Pot, so it also takes about 15 minutes oh, to come to yeah, pressure yeah. and 10 or 15 minutes Sick to release the pressure. Um, so we always just cook them when we don't have anything else going Sick on. We just kind of put them in and forget about them for a while. And then they're done. How are they, Em? Good. All right, here's what Google has to say. Searching for canned chickpeas. Looks like 99 cents. $219.69. So even if we just stick with the 99 cent one, um, it says you get about a cup and a half in a 16 ounce can. And in one, and so that's 99 cents. We paid less than $1.50. It was like $1.48. I believe for a it's bag of these, one, and we got about five cups. Me. What are you doing? I'm getting six pieces. Are you going to get some more? <laughs> are you going to eat them right out of the pan? Here. <laughs> are they just that good? <laughs> yeah, they are. These guys could just sit here all day eating plain old chickpeas. What's a little bit? He's just going to dish himself up. What are you going to do with all those chickpeas, Em? Eat them. With our family. Eat them with your family? Yeah. That sounds like a great plan. You're going to go sit with brothers and gobble them up? <laughs> Let's do it. So how do you guys like chickpeas the best? Cookies. Cookies. Make them as cookies? Cookies. That's better than plain or hummus or roasted? Mm, yeah. Yeah, cookies are the best? Yeah. Hmm. So maybe we'll have to experiment with some different things that we could make out of chickpea flour. Mm -hmm. hmm. If any of you have tried anything or you have any suggestions, let us know. We'll give it a try. I don't know if chickpeas. Bye-bye.